I was born six days prior to his I Have a Dream speech. I was born on August 22nd. His speech was on August 28th in 1963. The way I look at the speech is a simple concept of respect for everyone. Martin Luther King Day is obviously, you know, both about the man. You know, he was a towering figure in American history. I think more important in many ways, and I think he probably would agree, were the ideas that he was standing for. Martin Luther King knew that racial equity wouldn't be solved with one speech or with one march, but working diligently over time to really influence real change. And I think that's why he's such an inspiration. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It's a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. And that rings to me because even though we're looking for justice because of a lot of the injustices in the world, we don't want to lead with hate, with hatred to try to get there. With all that we've seen on the videos at that time, when people did speak out how they were treated, I mean, he had to have a tremendous, I mean, effort of bravery to be even there to speak in front of thousands. I've never walked in the shoes of a black man or a woman or somebody who is gay or my daughter who's Asian. So we should seek to understand where they're coming from and learn from their perspectives. The day is here to really remind us that there's still work to do even though we've come so far. We refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of the opportunity of this nation. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And sing in the words of an old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, great God Almighty, we are free at last.